Hello Pisces, welcome, welcome, welcome to Fifth Element Throw. I'm here to do your monthly energy read for August 2020. All right guys, I got this download weeks ago and was ready to deliver the message, but I was instructed to sit on it and I just read through the notes and I think I know why, because the energy is upcoming. It mentions starting a Monday off right, today is Sunday. So it makes sense, okay? So let me tell you everything that I got tapping in. Uh, first, I saw 22. 22 is all about devotion, wisdom, uh, achieving desired results, seeing the bigger picture, ambitious plans realized, balanced approach, peaceful in all life areas, standing strong in personal convictions. Also about peacemaker energy, diplomacy, healthy, energetic boundaries, divinely guided relationships and our partnerships. Then I heard Pisces is picking up the pieces. Then as I sat with that, I heard restructuring. Sitting with that, I got clear blue skies and then I was given a vision of myself laying on my back and an open field of greenery with my hands folded behind my back excuse me, behind my head and staring into a clear blue sky. Then I heard no clouds in the forecast, starting your Monday off right. So Monday is significant in some way. Then I heard heat, sun, sand, prepare for an adventure. No pressure unless it's self-induced. And then a feeling of travel. And then I saw the Six of Swords in my mind's eye with the World card. Now, the World card is about an ending, but it also indicates world travel. So those two cards together gave me the feeling of some sort of world travel. Then I heard becoming the map maker, setting your own course, doing those things that make you happy, deciding what those things are, and making no apology for it. Then a feeling of coming out of a dark cave of self-discovery, being shocked by the light or the sun, blinded but happy even still to see it. And then I heard a clear aha, okay? A long uh, breath of release or a long refreshing breath. This is everything I got tapping in. Your reading is going to be something along those lines, so let's go ahead and get it. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, angels of the highest love and light, you are welcomed here. Please fill this space. I'm here to do a monthly reading for Pisces for August 2020, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Using me as a channel, please give us a clear and concise message. You know how I read. Thank you. All right, so these are the two decks that jumped. And, but what I heard is that I'm getting overall energies from both decks, which is interesting. So let's start here. Sundara Fon's Reawakening the Soul deck, which is wrapped in violet, all about the crown chakra, otherworldly downloaded information. So one card for an overall read on the energy for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising for August 2020. One card, please. What's the one card coming from Sandar Fon's Reawakening the Soul Deck? For Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I just saw celebrate in my mind's eye. For August 2020. All right. So, interesting. I saw celebrate, but we have ethers, center, present, in the reverse. So this is not celebratory energy. This is about the ethers not being in good standing with it currently, presently. Interesting. So let's see if we have split energy because I got what I got. So that means it's there. But for this to be the overall read on the energy means that more people are in this energy than the yummy stuff I tapped into. Super interesting. So... Let's see what comes out as an overall read on the energy. Interesting. So I was told to get two overall energies. So this is split energy coming from this deck, which is the wisdom of the hidden realms. This is wrapped in yellow, all about the core. 
So the core of the group, the core of the matter, where are we? Definitely disjointed. Let's see what we get. Blessed and grateful, I just heard it, and was directed to the sign. So let's see. What's the energy overall for the other groups, group of Pisces for August 2020? Thank you. It's here, but it comes as a slight challenge. Slight challenge, I'll put it in the upright. Education, interesting. Mm -hmm. 35, 8, movement and abundance. So here's this travel energy, but something off with the education. And I just heard not willing to do the work. Super interesting. Yep, magical map shifter. So we got becoming the map maker in my tapping in, but we have this magical map shifter energy. 52 brings to a seven. All about journeying into your higher self or your God self in reverse based on this deck. At the base of this deck. At the base of the other deck, receive. So should be in a period of celebration and receive. But right now the ethers are not um, upright or um, accessible currently. Why? Because something about your learning is off. Okay. So let's go ahead and get a spread. Super interesting energy. So should it be in celebration, but not. And let's find out why. Going to the Tarot of Dreams for the spread. So tell me about Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising for August 2020. Tell the story. Shifting education, something happening this month that's going to get you from education in reverse energy to upright education energy, okay? And since this card flipped, I'm going to read the definition from the book. But let's get our spread. Tell the story. Thank you. Thank you. In the fire. Interesting. Anything else? Thank you. And again, the other card goes in my sage pile and is literally burnt. This is an action card. The devil. Yep, we got a lot of fire activity. Ether's on reverse. Let's find out what's going on. So, death by fire. Okay, this matches the energy on um, IG for today. So death by fire, being nurtured. From the bottom of that, star card, being on your path to wish fulfillment. After that, seven of cups, options, illusions, and confusion. It's directly related to education. Interesting. Then split energy on masculine powerful doing energy we have the devil in the upright could represent capricorn but what i get is toxicity okay split energy and page of wands so this is about a fiery communication okay so this fiery communication is all in upright devil energy okay there is a death here first card out is death Death leads to new life. So life. So I said light energy. So super interesting. So death is an ending, but an ending leads to new beginning. And because I said light, this is a death to old dark ways, giving way to the light to put you on your path. But there's still some confusion about it directly related to your studies. And I get spiritual studies. Someone Trapped in devil energy, fiery, okay? Devil energy. Last pass. I'm pretty sure this is clear and concise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so. Ten of Wands. 
you're at the end of a burdensome phase or life stage with the Ten of Wands, and this is the death. Okay, it goes right there to it. As a challenge to being on your path to wish fulfillment, being in toxic devil energy. So let's go further on this card. This is about um, anything that seeks to keep you bound. So toxic relationships, a toxic way of being, doing, thinking, codependency, addictions. Anything that seeks to keep you bound shows up as devil energy. And this is toxic, upright active devil energy and wanting to communicate in a fiery way challenge to that because you're in illusions and confusion two cards palace of swords so the place of thought is off okay that's exactly what that means and knight of coins as a challenge so my knight of coins in the upright knight of pentacles is about devising a slow methodical plan to ensure victory he's slow but show so in a challenge this slow knight is not moving at all why because you're having a hard time devising a slow methodical plan why because you want to be fiery in devil energy and communicate something and in your communication your whole place or house or thought process is off okay falls right here then separate to this energy what's being nurtured on feminine energy from the bottom unknown so in manipulation this is exactly what it means. Magician energy in reverse is manipulation. No other way to look at it. Why? Because there's no truth, clarity, or victory here. We have Ace of Swords reversed. And I get Crosswatcher energy. I just heard it clearly. Yeah, because I tapped into yummy stuff for Pisces. And Four of Cups in reverse. So in the upright, this is about a missed opportunity in love. So someone is often thinking that there is a, a missed opportunity. There is not. There's no truth, clarity, and victory. There's confusion here, and you're in manipulation with the magician in reverse. As I'm filled with the bursts of hot energy, this is cross-watcher energy. We have two separate stories going on. Okay, someone who needs to die to an old way of doing at the end of a burdensome stage. This death leads to you being on your path to wish fulfillment. Although there is still confusion. Why? Your spiritual education is off. Something about your learning is off. Then we have this story here where we have toxic devil energy. So there's a split here. This person was playing the same game, but has put a death to it. Someone still in toxic devil energy and fiery communication about it, okay? But this person who's in toxic devil upright energy, thoughts are completely off. They're challenged and not gaining any. Um, the slowest moving night in the deck is not moving at all struggling to get the slowest moving night moving, okay? Not only struggling to get movement, the reason there is struggle with movement and the ethers are in reverse right now is because there is manipulation involved, manipulation of the ethers, darker work. manipulation no truth clarity or victory in this manipulation why because there's no missed opportunity in love okay at the base of this deck we're going to close this out all of this energy leaves you where on the wrong side of destiny cross watcher energy cross watcher energy cross watcher energy okay so ether center present Pointing down, wrong relationship. Will of Fortune, pointing down, wrong relationship. Let's get us a card of advice for Navigate. Oh, I said I was going to read the education card in the upright, and I'll do exactly that. 
So card number 35, education. This will be our card of advice. I'll read it upright and reversed. Education. Life is filled with lessons. Be teachable. Upright. Wisdom comes from participating in life, not just reading about it. This card suggests that you might not have enough knowledge about what you seek, the direction to take, your circumstances, or the nature of your inquiry. Important information is coming. Now is the time to go to school, ask the person who might know more than you do, or find a teacher or a course of study so that you can more clearly understand the next right action or what the next right action must be. Sometimes life unexpectedly sends you to an unfamiliar school and you must learn by experience. Now is a time to be teachable, open to changing your perceptions, your notions, be a student and be willing to state the most powerful mantra of all, I don't know yet. So something off with your education, your learning. Reversed stubbornness and the desire to know it all and be right no matter what will not get you what you want or could it be that you're afraid to be seen as someone who knows less than you're supposed to could you be flying through life by the seat of your pants hoping no one will notice you're skimming the surface of things life is filled with lessons some bitter some sweet a strident lust for certainty will never bring you the wisdom you seek Pretending to know more than you do won't make you wise. Be assured that not knowing is a magical place to be. All manner of mysteries are revealed. Be open. It's okay not to know. Yeah, someone's convinced themselves that they know and they don't. And this um, not knowing and acting as if you do leaves you on the wrong end of destiny. It is actually devil activity. Okay, and leaves you right here. There's it's always another day to begin again and try again until there's not. Okay, so if you're le living, breathing, you're here to learn lessons. Be teachable is the message. I hope this message was helpful. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out the description box below. You'll find additional helpful information about this read, angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. Also, go follow on IG. I'm there seven days a week with the card of the day at Fifth Element Throw 777. Until next month, my beautiful people, I'm wishing you miracles and blessings. Namaste.